wide it's a fantastic vintage because it's already like there's a okay, lot of nuances to it already mm -hmm. the 08 was really weird it was really sort of tight and still tight right now and sort of one dimensional almost this is this already has a lot of a lot of structure could you go in really quickly? We were talking earlier about how yeah. the it ages, Emilio Rojo, and and what you've tasted in the past, and sort of your impression on on how it develops. Well, I think uh, it has it has the acidity for uh, for long term aging, and uh, what uh, what's really interesting is that it seems to be this weird cross when it ages between Chablis and uh, Merceau. It, it takes on you know these really bright sort of crisp tones. Then you've got you know you've got these sort of secondary kind of honeyed qualities that come out of it. Um, it seems to age really, really well. It's very surprising, but it's not surprising because uh, Ribeiro is known as, uh, as one of the longest uh, lived white wine to Spain. It used to be famous for that, so it cool. totally makes sense now. And as we're, unfortunately, I haven't cellared enough of it, but the little bottles that we have seem to age really well. Awesome. Thanks.